Hey, what's up you guys? Shardmas Prime here, doing a Hasbro Pulse Con 2021 Star Wars 6-inch Black Series reveal video. If you're trying to pick up your Star Wars figures, you can do so at- Search your feelings, you know it to be true. Dark Side Toys is a store for you! Link below. All right, down there, I ask you to please hit that like button. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. So we didn't get a ton of six inch Star Wars figure reveals, but we do have some and we have some images of the HasLab Rancor that we'll look at in a minute. But first off, I wanted to look at Boba Fett in the Tython garb over here from the Mando Disney Plus series, which is freaking awesome. Uh, having Tamora Morrison over here playing Boba Fett was just so dope to see. And this figure looks awesome get the nice looking soft goods over here combined with the plastic and it looks like he's coming with a whole ton of accessories and the likeness looks really really good on this piece so this is definitely something that i am going to pick up very much looking forward to this one then we're also getting the Cobb vanth from the mando series as well nice packaging over here and he does come with the boba fett goodies as we saw in the series uh, this particular look right over here is just really awesome. I mean, I love all the different colors that we're seeing. Still wish that we got double jointed elbows and double jointed knees on the Black Series figures. But regardless, uh, I'm going to swoop up on this one too. I thought this was a very cool character. And I think Hasbro is just doing a really good job of capturing the likeness for these characters and everything. And I like the accessories. So yeah, definitely want to pick this one up as well. And then we're getting a Miggs Mayfield figure. Yeah, you can get your Bill Burr figure. I have a feeling they wanted the helmet on there or he requested that they package him with the helmet on. I don't know for sure, but I'm just guessing because it is just really kind of funny having a bill burr action figure I, I could be the only one who thinks that way but it's just a little bit funny uh but at the same time i'm all in for it i'm totally gonna get this uh just seeing bill burr in the action figure form over here i, I don't know why it, it makes me laugh but at the same time i, I dig having <laughs> but anyway i'm gonna get the figure and then we also get some park exclusives over here you can see we get a droids pack and yeah we're getting some new droids some old droids over here and it's one of those things where you know if you want to pick up the droids for, from the from the park you can go ahead and do so so like a little memento and everything and you know i think they do a pretty good job of picking some things that you know aren't necessarily must gets for everybody but at the same time if you want them you can go ahead and get them i'm always 50 50 about those park exclusives they're not always like my absolute favorite exclusives but at the same time they do have some cool things and i was happy with I was really happy with one of the two of them that I'd really picked up uh, last time. So that's pretty cool. We're also getting some little monsters over here. Another park exclusive. So you can see that we have like the park colored Salacious Crumb. And then there's the regular Salacious Crumb. If you missed out on the SDCC Minoc, you can get that. Um, there's a little furry Pikachu looking thing down there. I saw someone leave that in the chat. I thought that was actually kind of funny. Uh, this is probably going to be a pass for me, being honest. I don't need the Porgs. Eh, I could use more eh, I don't need more Porgs, man. But yeah, th that one might be a pass. But still, eh, you know, that... Eh. Not, not for me. It doesn't mean it's for every. It doesn't mean it has to be for everybody or not for everybody. Whatever. And then this is another park exclusive with the General Hux. And yeah, we're getting you know remolded figures over here. Um, I can't remember the name of of the uh, the Imperial fighter right there or the Imperial soldier. I, I can't remember the exact name of it. Let me know in the comment section below. But this was one I might get. I don't know. But anyway, uh, going back to regular re. Oh, this is actually a Target exclusive mando over here uh that does come with the maldo crease and the grogu so uh new paint job uh same old figure and you get an added accessory you get the maldo crease and again not for everybody and it's a target exclusive so we'll see how available this is going to be not that excited for it but it does look cool you know the, the little spider creature maldo crease thing looks pretty neat and I don't know about getting a, myself another Mando figure like this. I don't really know, but I'm kind of curious to know what you guys think. And, of course, he'll come with a little Grogu over there looking so cute. And, yeah. So, if you need your Grogu still, I guess with snow, then I guess you can go ahead and pick it up. But this one's probably going to be a pass for me. Just the snow deco on him and everything. It's just not... Or was that salt? I can't remember now off the top of my head. I could be wrong. That, that could have been salt the whole time. I, ah, shoot. Remind me, pretty sure it's snow though, right? But anyway, we also get Princess Leia's lightsaber. So you get a force effects lightsaber for Princess Leia, which I think is pretty neat. I might pick this up. I do like how it looks 
has that kind of rose gold look to it so i think that's pretty neat uh but man i really wanted to talk about the haslab rancor because holy crap this looks awesome i mean look at that neck articulation he can look up he can eat other prototypes uh he doesn't have the final paint apps right now or it doesn't i don't know the gender of this thing but still it looks incredible with all the sculpted detail and i'm sure they're going to nail it i love that it has some drool hanging out of there and everything those arms are super long man i didn't expect so much articulation in those fingers it's 42 inches wide and again it could you know you can have them eat i wish they had him grabbing a luke skywalker um and or a gamorian guard but yeah there you go. You can see it standing 17 and a half inches tall. You can see it compared to the other HasLab uh, figures or vehicles. And then you can see it next to a regular six inch black series Stormtrooper. So it's the, the height that I wanted to see. I'm happy with the size of it. I'm happy with the articulation. It's 27 inches tall if you extend the arms. And yeah, man, I, I'm just sold on this thing. I think it looks badass. The price point is a bit higher than I wanted or was hoping for anyway. Now the price point is just a little bit higher than I was hoping for. My guess was like the 250 mark. I was hoping for 250, but it's a, there's a little bit more going on here than I was actually anticipating. I didn't expect to see so much finger articulation. It looks like there's three different hinges in each finger. Um, I remember from uh, the the stream, the PulseCon stream, they said that those hands are like human sized hands. I also did not expect to see a uh, range of movement on the shoulders, the butterfly joints. So that's an added thing there. And then the head articulation is actually impressing me more than I was expecting. I didn't think that you'd be able to move the head around as much as you could. So, you know, with all that, man, I think that's I think this is a pretty good looking piece. I mean, for 350. Again, not bad. I was hoping for 250, but I'm going to pick it up and that doesn't even include any of the tier figures or the stretch goals or any of that too. Uh, I I have a feeling they're going to include a Rancor keeper and if they had like some kind of a gate accessory or something like that, that would be really cool. I mean, we don't know, right? And will it come with a bone? <laughs> there might be a bone that breaks in half or something that it could come with. That may be the first stretch goal. If that's going to be a stretch goal, it's got to be only the first one because you can't make that like the last one or something. But anyway, I'm curious to know what you guys think. This looks incredible to me. I am very stoked for it. Um, I'm definitely going to back this. I haven't right now, but I will soon. I want to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comment section below. I might have a Marvel Legends Elvis Modoc and the Captain PulseCon exclusive uh, figure review later today. If not, that'll go up tomorrow. So regardless, stay tuned. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit the like button if you liked it, and I will catch you guys later. Peace! Hey, new Shark Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't. Shot, 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 shot,